fish where the fish are biting. A marketing assistant. Senior manager of the Hootsuite social marketing team. Instagram, next. Trick question, and I'll explain more later. You don't need to be on every social network. So you can start seeing real business results from your social media effort. Hi, I'm Amanda, Senior Manager of Social Marketing at Hootsuite, and today on Hootsuite Labs, we're gonna walk through each step of building a social media strategy together. Once we're done, it'll be your North Star. Whenever you get in the weeds or feel lost about what to do next, it's here to remind you what you're trying to accomplish and how you define success. So let's get started. Follow this link to grab the free template. I'll wait here. Step one is setting goals. It's easy to get overwhelmed by deciding what to post and which metrics to track, but you need to focus on what you want to get out of social media to begin with. Don't just start posting and tracking everything. Match your goals to your business and your metrics to your goals. So for example, if you're trying to attract new customers because you know, we all are, then your first goal is to get attention or awareness. The metrics you'll wanna watch are things like reach and followers and growth. And next, moving further down the funnel, your potential customers could be considering their options. So this is where measuring things like engagement and engagement rate is important. Now at this stage, tracking will get a little bit more sophisticated. You can continue measuring the consideration phase of your customer journey all the way to conversion by using UTMs, and Google Analytics to measure things like click-through rate, traffic to a site, signups, and eventually sales. The bottom line is everything you measure will ladder up to the goal that moves the needle for your business. So take a minute now to decide on your most important goals. Okay, step two, who's your ideal customer? When you're starting from scratch, you could theoretically attract anyone with your social content. So it's important to zoom in and prioritize the people who your product is built for. What kind of struggles and challenges do they face? What is the content that they'll find extremely helpful? Make that person the center of your social strategy. Building out audience personas with demographic, location, age, job title, etc., is certainly helpful, especially when you're using ads. But the foundation of success is understanding at an emotional level what your customer struggles with and what you can post that will help them out. Step three, take a look at your competition and see what they're doing and what they aren't doing. What platforms are they using? What are they neglecting? Like stories, do they ever go live? Are they not posting memes, behind the scenes, customer photos, how to's? Your job is to find the magic in the gap and do something that will help you stand out to your audience. At Hootsuite, we use a tool called Insights by Brandwatch to keep an eye on the volume of conversation we're driving. We also monitor industry widen trends using streams. Make sure you aren't always comparing yourself to the competition it can be distracting. I'd say, you know, on a monthly basis is helpful to check in. Otherwise, focus on your own strategy and your own results. If you want to know more about social listening for competitive intelligence and audience research, I recommend watching my colleague Nick's video. You'll get set up with free social listening in three steps. Next, we look at our own weaknesses. First, go through and optimize your accounts to make your brand identity consistent. Things like profile images, bios, banners, links should all be up to date and telling your audience the same thing. I mean, adjusting it to suit each tone of the platform, of course. Next, look at your post performance and set a baseline for followers, reach and engagement to understand where you're starting and where you wanna go. Which posts have worked and which have flopped? How much are you posting? How much are you engaging with your audience? Do you have a problem with imposter accounts? Should you apply for a very verification? Do you need to have each and every single platform you're using or should you just be focusing on a few? This is a social media audit and once you're done you'll have a better idea of how to improve on your results. This sounds like the easiest step, but according to our research, for a lot of people, knowing what to post is really the hardest step. My advice is to look at all sorts of industries to find inspiration. I look for brands who are on the leading edge, using the features of each network and who have a strong community engagement strategy. Fashion brands like Reformation or Patagonia are great examples. They're playful, never pushy or annoying. They understand why people are on social to begin with, and they know that it's a huge privilege when a person 
person chooses to follow you. Beyond that, I consider it my job to be active on social, to know what's trending, which campaigns are winning, what's new with the platform, who's going above and beyond. This might be a fun step for you, or it might be the hardest one, but it's crucial for you to stay up to date. Okay, step six is the one that will make your life easier. Planning out your content so that you know exactly what you're gonna be posting in advance is a lifesaver. A calendar is the best way to control your content mix and keep your followers engaged. If you're just starting out for an instance, you might be following the 80-20 rule where 80% of your posts are entertainment and informative and 20% are promotional and profit generating. A calendar also makes it easier to post often. Even posting once a day on three platforms adds up. And best practices usually call for posting even more. You can add content directly into the planner within Hootsuite or to make your own calendar you could use something as simple as Google Sheet. I know there are project management tools as well that a lot of people who are on bigger teams use. At Hootsuite we use a combination of Google Sheets and Hootsuite Planner to schedule almost all of our posts in advance and we also rely on an AI feature to find the best times to post for the audience on each platform. Okay, step seven, fill out your calendar with a bunch of incredible content your audience loves. Easy, right? Next step, just kidding, just kidding. Content creation is super hard and we're gonna break it down today. The first question to ask is, is there cohesion between your content types? Is your content providing value? Is there a good mix of entertaining and educational content? What does it offer to make a person stop and spend time? Creating a few different content pillars or categories that encompasses different aspects of storytelling for your brand, what your brand can offer, is a great start. For example, one content pillar could be creating content that connects with your audience and simply provides value. It could be educational or entertaining, and it's not asking anything from your audience. Your next content pillar could be a bit more salesy. The content is specific to your offering. It focuses on how you can improve your customer's life, like the benefits and the features. And the last pillar is all about your company culture, your values, what's important to you as a brand, and how you're gonna connect to your customer on a deeper level. The last step is sipping your mojito and watching the likes roll in. Okay, actually, it's setting aside time to look at your holistic channel growth. How many followers you're gaining? Are they engaging with your content? And depending on your goals, are you driving traffic, sales, and retaining customers? And also looking at post performance, setting benchmarks for what advert success looks like and how you know when you've struck a nerve. If your posts aren't performing well, then it's time to break out the microscope. Is your tone wrong for the platform? Are you not really using a conversational tone to humanize your brand? Or are you not meeting the audience where they are when they engage with brands? Are you pushing a hard sell without creating content that drives conversation? Are you not using the latest formats or features on each social channel? Also possible to stand out because you are out of touch with what's trending and popular. In that case, go back to your audience persona and think about how you can pivot to connect with them better and make sure to revisit your content pillars. That's it. Now is the exciting part. Time to get your content out the Door and see what happens. If you've watched this far, I hope you'll leave your questions in the comments. Tell us what's stumping you and how we can help. And remember to sign up for your free Hootsuite Pro trial. I swear it'll make your life much easier. Bye for now.